Hello everyone, Rachel here on March the 7th, 2022. Um, welcome to my first oracle card reading for myself online. I used to do this many years ago back in Virginia. Um, had a hell of a YouTube channel that I thought was pretty freaking awesome because of all of you guys. Had about 2,000 view, um, subscribers and was really doing well on YouTube. I stopped doing Oracle card readings online, but I have my client base that has stuck with me for what, almost eight years, which has been really cool. It's kept me going. Um, but I forgot, I lost my train of thought, so forgive me. Anyway, let's get back to it. I'm doing the Oracle card readings for myself now online and it for your viewing consumption because I noticed the trend was all of the Oracle card readers, we were talking to each other or we were interfacing and interacting with the public and it got to be where everybody's reading was the same. And whatever you focus on expands. So everybody was having like, it was one of those moments you know it's not right. You want to empower someone to be who they are. Not to sit here and dictate, hey, this is the energy for the day, blah, blah, blah. You know, and then everybody kind of, you know, dabbled in creating this soup. The empowerment part is, okay, thank you for the guidance. Let me go live my life and be that. I can't remember, it's actually a fucking, um, there, there's a name for it, I can't remember what it's called. You know, but you have to do you, okay? You can't rely on somebody else to tell you who you are. And the clients that I still have from that time realize this now. My readings have totally changed in how I present them because I really want you to be empowered. Yeah, sure, I can sit here and tell you all about the 3D shit that I'm seeing, pardon me, but that's just that little bit of perspective that is definitely influenced by a fourth dimensional energy. And it took me a little bit of a time to understand, to really understand, and understanding means relaxing, and to seeing that energy is neutral. How you are greeting it is what creates the moment, okay? So however you greet this energy, my reading that I am broadcasting is 100% yours, okay? However, I know that I have shielded myself, so to speak, and putting it out there of going, hey, this is how I'm living my life. This is how I am greeting the energies before me. And I gotta tell you, there are some moments where I'm sitting here going, did that really just fucking happen? Darn it, I did it again. Please forgive me. But <laughs> be that as it may, and I even write about it on my blog sometimes, uh, there was a heck of a post that I put up just over the weekend because I literally had no thought. Somebody had said something pretty hurtful, okay? And I literally just was able to stand in my presence and understand that it was a moment of I want a reaction from you. I don't know how else to get it. So let me you know, have my verbal onslaught and go from there. You know, all of us are empowered. All of us are empowered. What you do with that empowerment, how you interact is 100% yours. No blame, no shame, no guilt, no nothing. It is 100% you. You have to own you. You have to accept you. You are the one who is making the choices and decisions in every single moment. Everybody else, you just get to play with. 
You get to call them a friend. You get to call them an enemy. You get to have whatever interaction you want with them. You are the one, though, that has to be 100% committed to you. You're the one that has to wake up in the morning and go, did I forgive myself? Did I have mercy? Did I have any kind of compassion? Where am I? What am I focusing on? And it's taken me, as I said, a little bit of time to get out of my own bull. And I admit it, 100%. Man, there was even a time there that I could take, it was, it was pretty gnarly. And eventually I will share this with you guys. It's coming. Because I got nothing left to hide. Nothing left to hide. I might withhold names, change a few uh, details, but the people that I will be talking about will know that I am talking about them. I will probably eat some crow, but here's the thing. That's my perspective. This is my journey, just like it is your journey. And I highly encourage you that if you do oracle card readings, or if you are an oracle card reader, understand that there is more. It is time to lift. It is time to be more authentic with yourself first, and then say, I embrace my teacher, mentor, healer. I embrace my peace, love, and joy because no one can take it from me because now you're empowered and everything out here is going to tell you you're not. Every last single thing. All of it. It's crazy. And I even had a, a situation show up Literally, when I got back from the first ever vacation I have taken outside of the country, and I was like, wow, that actually did happen. I even had to throw away the sign on my refrigerator. I'd rather be happy than right. Because, damn it, I keep being right. It's like, well, where's my happiness? Where's my joy? Ooh, I'm the one who's responsible for it. So I, I will leave it to your imagination just how much on my spiritual journey that only lasted for five days. How much I grew between the time I stopped videos to the time I finally crossed that off my bucket list, the first trip, it's been phenomenal. And here I am. Y'all wanna see confidence? You wanna know what an empowered woman is? Check it out because when you get to that point, and a lot of you will, because I'm feeling and sensing you right now, you're going to understand the only one who needs to accept you for who you are is you. And you're going to love the shit out of yourself. You're going to be so happy. Everybody's going to tell you, why are you happy? And they will make it their job to try and take you off balance. And it will be totally 100% self subconscious because how often do you meet someone who is literally happy? So with that, we're going to pull one card because I see my time is running out and I don't have the, the time on YouTube I used to once upon a time. So we're going to use the Dragon Oracle card deck by Diana Cooper. The dragons are a big part of my journey. I mean huge love these guys see them sometimes at the corner of my eye I have a lot of naga dragons it's amazing hell i even have a dragon cave on my wall in the kitchen <laughs> it's great little corner dragons love it so i'm going to shuffle my deck real quick and we're going to find out what my card is going to tell me for this moment at this time today and how what's going on normally i don't pull cards for myself but i figure I want to do this. Holy crap. Okay, the Lilac Fire Dragon. I'm a little firecracker. All right, it transmutes through the power of divine love. I even got my purple on right now. Holy crap. Open up to the transcendent love and enlightenment. Purity of heart brings peace, hope, and joy. Well, they almost got that right. Peace, love, and joy, baby. Purity of your heart. Speak your truth. That's what I'm doing. I'm speaking my truth. I will stand here before you and I will continue to do it. I've only got three videos posted. Do you know I have about 15 sitting right now ready to be queued up? Yep. When 
I figure I gotta turn some of those into blog posts because it's important. There are some people who still need to have the reassurances because I know I do. I know I do. My teachers, long time ago, and I have viewed them as teachers, um, made it very clear. And I started in 2009 with Shri and Kira, okay? And I highly recommend you go to shriankira.com or official Shri and Kira on YouTube and start somewhere. But one of their broadcasts was like, look, pick one thing and stick with it. Pick one teacher and stick with it. Because I was kind of all across the board. And this was back in Virginia. And I was like, okay, well, I like this guy. I'm going to stick with the Shri and Kira. Because I literally, the book flew off the shelf. And I was like, what the hell? You know, what is going on? And even in my admission at Tosa, I was like, I'm, t I'm stop being afraid of who I am. And I could see two people getting ready to cry because it took me, what, three days to get to that point. I, I'm just, I'm stopping right now. I am going to be me. And it has changed everything. And it's still changing. That's the amazing part. I'm sitting here going, oh, how am I greeting this energy? Because all energy is neutral. And I picked one thing and I stuck with it. Because I keep asking the question, well, what else is there? What else is there? You know, your, your level of consciousness is your veil. Well, it still applies, which means you're going to be brought on this journey now because I am a motor mouth at this point. Like I said, I got other videos to get queued up and I don't even, I'm like, okay, Rachel, I'm just so excited. So I hope you get excited for your life. I hope that you follow your intuition. I hope that the word no is removed from your vocabulary. It is a beautiful thing watching other people take off in their own world, take off in their empowered self. I cannot tell you how happy that has made me on so many levels when this has happened, okay? Life is going to happen. We're all here. Who gets to be in my field and how I'm greeting you and where we're going? You got to stand where you are, man. You got to stand up. You got to be that firecracker. You got to transmute anything that comes into your energy field. You got to be like, oh, that is not mine. Give you a perfect example and then I'm going to end this. Yesterday, I posted this, it was sharing number two on YouTube. And I swear to God, I literally saw where the energy was coming from that was attacking the, the second chakra, okay, of the traditional system, literally attacking me. And I was like, oh, well, thank you for pointing out where I might still have a little bit of gunk in my aura, in my chakra there. It was beautiful, it was phenomenal. Lasted about mm, 10 minutes because I was like, okay, well, what do you want? I don't have to accept you, nor do I accept you. I will send you back with 10,000 fold consciousness. <laughs> That's called taking responsibility. Being aware of all of the energies coming to you. Being aware that, yeah, it's going to try to scare the shit out of you. It really will. But you don't have to fall victim to it. What you do with your time is your own. If you enjoy watching TV, watch TV. If you enjoy making videos, make videos. If you enjoy wearing your, your <laughs> very regal, beautiful Shiva eye stones, I love them. If you enjoy doing nails, if you enjoy being a welder, if you enjoy whatever it is, enjoy it. Because you're going to find the nuggets of gold that are in there that are going to make you even happier. And with that, have a beautiful day. Thank you for being awesome and thank you all for being here. I love you so much. Bye for now.